I'm sorry y'all it's just all types of messed up today like things are just not going according to plan I got some uh, falafel with baklava I'm gonna eat this first mmm She's like, do you want more syrup? Yes, please. I just came apart. Look at all those nuts. Mmm. This place is called Detroit Kebab House. Mmm. You guys, I've come such a long way. From eating in my car, I'm in dead smack, busy parking lot, in front of a row of stores, people walking past that can see me. Mm. It helps that Jonathan's car is a little bit tinted and mine's not, but... I love my Jeep, but something about being low to the ground. Not during winter, though. In the summertime, though, cruising down the street in my six spell. Slapping a hoe. I don't think that's how the lyrics go, but I wouldn't be surprised if I was right. Um, I have to tell you about my day off last time. It's Labor Day weekend. I also took Tuesday off, so I'm not going back to work until Wednesday. Things are good. I'm just, you know, trying to find my barbecues. I'm not going anywhere. I got some ginger ale. It was the last one. That Canada Dry. So about two weeks ago, it was blazing hot here, like in the hundreds. I'm in Chicago, if y'all didn't know. Chicago land. And then last week it was fall weather. It was perfect. It was like 70s. Not too hot, not too cold. And now, this week, it's going back to the 90s and up. But I've been here my whole ass life. I know what to expect, y'all. So I like this place because you know how some Mediterranean places be charging you like 50 cents for sauce and pita bread and rice? They pretty much already charge you for it. So I got rice separate because, you know, and then I got some hummus. This is probably like the best hummus I've ever had. Oh, it's going to spill the juices, but. And some pita bread. Oh, shit. That's going to fall. So. <clears throat> My mom's been having a lot of problems with her back for a long time, and I've been telling her to go to my chiropractor, and she wouldn't for the longest time. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take it to my chiropractor, and I'm going to go with you. I never, I work Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, basically. So when I have my days off, you know, I don't, 
My mom and I have a complicated relationship, but as of late, you know, hitting mid thirties, my birthday's October 2nd. Oh, look at this falafel plate. Sace falafels. So I'm gonna put these in the rice and mix up all the hummus. So we hung out, right? And this was anticipated for a long time. You know, all my nosy ass coworkers. Hello, Tracy Mino. Um, they're like, why don't you have days off? Because I need my sanity and that's it. Um, what else? What else? So I hung out with my mama. And y'all, I was nervous. I'm like, oh God, how's this gonna go? You know, I haven't hung out with my mom one on one in ages. Like eons and eons and eons of ages. I got the tahini and the hot sauce. I'm gonna get this prepared and show y'all, but I'm gonna make me a little sandwich. I know I can just get a falafel sandwich, but I like the falafel plate so much better. Well, I'm not gonna make a whole ass sandwich on this. I'm just gonna like tear, tear pieces, I guess. All right, so I'm getting the hummus. I'm gonna spread that shit. I wanted to get their combination platter, but they only offer it during the weekdays. Like, what the hell? Or I can get one that's like way more expensive. Fuck all that. Oh man, it's such a it's such a feat to put this together, but it's so worth it when you take that bite. Some clean rice. Falafel. Motherfuckers. I'm trying to put two falafels in here, to be honest with you. So messy. Oh shit, I just spilled sauce everywhere. I just got a car wash too. Well, definitely keeps life interesting. Luckily, I hoarded a bunch of napkins. Okay. Now I'll just do one at a time, fuck it. So messy. You know, I love y'all because I could have saved this for later but I'm hungry right now. Little falafel sandwich. Oh yay, someone pulled up right next to me. Right as I'm about to be in the story of dating my mother. Mmm. That's good. I know I need a tray, but all the trays are fine. Just fall apart. They don't hold on to my wheel. Mm. So no lie. Um, I'm trying not to make eye contact with these people. Oh, cheaters! They're going to the fucking. Most Kamalis. Bro. This Los Kamalis be popping, but their fucking tacos are so tiny. Mmm. Okay. 
unfortunately, also fortunately, me and my mother are a lot alike. And I hate to fucking admit that shit because she's like me. I'm like her, but she's like 10 times, maybe even 20 times more neurotic. She means well. She has a heart of gold. Very nurturing, very loving, but also very psychotic. She's gotten better over the years, but I only handle her in small dosages, you know, boundaries, you know, it helps not living together for sure. So I can't even tell you the last time I hung out with my mom by ourselves because growing up, going to the mall with her was a feat. I never wanted to be there. I just always wanted to leave and she would take her sweet ass time. Now as an adult, I can appreciate that and I'm going to accept that. I mean, overall, we had a good time. It was a lot better than I thought it would go. That's what happens when you have very low to little expectations and then it turns out okay. But I was nervous, you know? I felt like I was picking myself up on a date. You know, but it was like dating myself. <laughs> it was so strange. But then she was real cool and we were really easygoing for the most part. But <laughs> it's just funny. You can't film this shit. So she went to the chiropractor. He helped her out a lot. She liked it. Um, she was still hesitant though because she was in so much pain afterwards. I'm like, he told you that that's what's gonna happen. But I'm glad she finally went and she's like getting help, you know? But after Cairo, I wanted to take her to this store that I thought she was gonna love, which is this place in Evanston called The Mexican Shop. They have all these little knickknacks from Mexico. And the first and last time I was there, I thought it was so cool. I couldn't decide between things. There was just too much to choose from. I was there for like two, three hours. I thought she was gonna love it, right? She didn't find one damn thing she liked in that whole store. The one thing she found were like these really gaudy earrings that were like $80. And I was like, no, the earrings were a little bit bent. So she's like, no. The thing that I love about my mom is that she'll always take care of me. Like, but that's the thing is that she's also used that over my head before, you know, when she spoils me. But I am her baby and the only girl, you know. So... I understand.
like I tried to pray for lunch but she wouldn't let me and she bought me some shit at Macy's so that was really nice of her and like I think to profusely like I just don't need her holding anything over my head like she's done in the past like I want to move on but she's always like after all that I've done for you like I'll never forget that shit you know anyway we're moving on but that's the thing is like she doesn't really have anything productive to say you know and she's always telling me like the same childhood stories which is fine, like, she has to talk to somebody. But I realize, I'm like, man, you know, my brothers are not close with her at all. My one brother is, but he's moving. He's moving out of state. Our other brother passed away years ago. And my other brother's a dick, and we don't talk to him. So, maybe someday, like, maybe it's not forever, but we don't want to have anything to do with him right now because he just made our lives difficult. But I know it's not forever. And I'm like, man, she literally has nobody. And especially if, like, I hate to say it, but, you know, if she, if my dad, my stepdad passes away first before her, like, she's going to have nobody. Like, she's only going to have me. And I got to be there for her, like, the same way she's been there for me, you know? It's just reality. But, you know... It's always like, oh, you know, the way they looked at me, oh, the way they talked to me. And I'm like, who? Like, how? You know? And sometimes I feel like she'd be making this shit up. But I am like my mom, where I'm also very intuitive. That's a whole ass. I'm not going to finish this. I got to actually get going, but I'm going to try. So, like, I guess I'm kind of like her therapist, but I was more responding to be like, well, how did you feel about that? Or, you know, maybe they meant it this way. Or what was their response to you? Just like shit like that. But... You know, I just gotta, I'm just like trying to be more understanding of her, you know? She just comes from like a lot of fucking trauma growing up. So I'm in more of like, an understanding mode these days but the funny parts were like we you can't take us anywhere together I'm like I can't stand this woman but I love her you know I know how some people feel about me you know it's so funny because she's always so sensitive of how other people talk to her but like the way she talks to people is not always like the most approachable and I guess I'm the same way you know um but she was being a Karen at the Macy's she was so upset and like screaming when she thought that somebody like used her gift card when I was like mom it was you you used it she's like no I never did sorry my alarm went off so later on she remembered that she's like oh yeah I did use it I'm so sorry like she had this lady calling like the back end department only to, only to remember that she used a gift card you know Like, oh my god, what? No! Like, that was her. And she was, like, hogging up the line. I was like, Mom, are you sure you didn't use it? Ten minutes later, she's like, oh yeah, I did. And I was like, this is why I don't go anywhere with you. But then tell me why. When we went to lunch, we sat outside. And I hate insects, but bees too. I don't like them. You see my girl, bro. That shit scarred me for life. Like, I'm not gonna die or have an allergic reaction, but, like, I don't like bees. 
and all these bees were swarming our table, right? And I get up and I'm like, ah! like I'm being the dramatic one and she's just like looking at her food like, calm down. They're not gonna do anything to you. Like, stop being dramatic. <sighs> Bitch, really? But you can be dramatic at the store over a fucking gift card that you forgot that you used when I told you that you used it because I would have done the same thing. I mean, this guy just made eye contact with each other. Like, why don't you just fuck off? Mind your business. I'm hungry. Mmm. But all in all, it was a good time. And it was interesting because I was like, huh, this is probably how all my past dates felt about me. Or like, so they told me like they were really nervous and like I ended up being cool as fuck and like my mom's cool as fuck. But for the most part, she just be repeating the same stories to me. And I'm like, uh huh. I think that's why I'm good at taking away others' pain and discomfort because that's what I've tried to do for my mom my whole life I, I hate it when she's sad or mad you know but when my mom is happy she's like the funnest person to be around. I love her laugh. Like, I love to make her laugh. And she's so beautiful. And she wants to get all this work done. I'm like, Mom, you're 80 years old. Like, she looks like she's 60. But I'm like, you're 80 years old. Like, you look good. You know? I'm just like, I'm like a professional. I'm an amateur hype man. I'm just gonna fucking make my business cards and be like, amateur slash professional hype woman. Alright, y'all. Peace out. Till next time.